<laughs> All right, as we mentioned, it was a late night for True Blue fans. If you stayed up to watch the game last night, you know uh, Kentucky took on Utah last night in Las Vegas. And our own Jennifer Palumbo is in Vegas to cheer on the Cats and joins us now live on the phone. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Toby. Hi, Claire. If I sound a little hoarse right now, it is from all of the yelling I did at the game. Yes. You know, I cannot remember a game that I've been to that started that late, but with the time change here, it was only an 8 o'clock tip, so that made it a little bit easier for the fans here in Vegas. My husband Joey and I were courtside at T-Mobile Arena, cheering on sixth-ranked Kentucky against Utah. It was an exciting night. ESPN's Bill Walton called the game, and fans like to talk about him. Everybody has an opinion about Bill Walton. And we were sitting with former UK and NBA star Rex Chapman. And if you actually stayed up to watch the game, then you might have heard Bill Walton give Joey and Rex a shout-out, which was kind of funny. <laughs> and there were some former cats in the house. I saw Isaac Humphreys, Marcus Lee, Michael Mulder, and Aaron Harrison. And it was just an awesome atmosphere there, a sea of blue and white in the stands. My favorites were these ladies from Bowling Green, rocking their blue and white boas. They were hilarious, but it turned out it just wasn't Kentucky's night. You know, they had a chance to tie it at the end, but came up short. Utah won 69-66. to 66. It doesn't get any easier for Coach Cal and the Cats. Kentucky has a few days now to get ready for fifth-ranked Ohio State Saturday afternoon here. And another wave of UK fans is heading west today and tomorrow to cheer on the Cats. So awesome. the fans who are in Vegas now get two days to enjoy the sights and sounds, from gambling in the casinos to all the shows. This is just such a fun city. It's even been given the nickname BBN Vegas for all the true blue fans. And they are all hoping the Cats can bounce back with a win Saturday over Ohio State. So that's it for now from Las Vegas. Claire and Toby, did you all stay up to watch the game? I'm guessing, Claire, you did not. Uh, no, I absolutely <laughs> did not. It was ending <laughs> almost about the time I woke up for work this morning. Yes. <laughs> but, yeah, it was a heartbreaker when I woke up and I saw how we almost had a chance to uh, win there at the end with Emmanuel quickly trying to get that three. Yes. And missed. you got to hate that for him. But, yes, another big chance to have a really big game this Saturday. And it's cool to see that so, much of, so many of the fans, I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but, of course, they traveled to Vegas and they're all there. Well, yeah. I know, but I mean, you would think like maybe Utah because they're closer that there would have been more, but no, it was it was blue and white with little pockets of red. Now, I'm guessing, though, I'm sure we're going to see more Ohio State fans on Saturday, but, you know, I also know a lot of people who are coming today or tomorrow for the Ohio State game, so I think it's going to be another situation on Saturday. I bet Big Blue Nation is going to outnumber Ohio State fans, but we'll have to wait and see. But either way, it's just such a fun city for fans to be here and all the beautiful Christmas decorations that, you know, the trees and the lights and uh, it's just a, a fabulous city for BBN Vegas. Oh, I'm sure there's no shortage of stuff to do. Well, Jennifer, we hope you have a good time. We're jealous, yes. but you can keep keeping us updated online and calling in and all that. And you can just cheer on those cats, rest up your voice yes. because they'll need you on Saturday. When they, Jennifer. Good to talk to you. All right. Good to talk to you. Take care. Be safe. Bye. Okay, bye.